just for just just testing for just testing for just testing testing microphone light <laughs> Testing microphone one two. One two testing microphone one two. Erinyalia, Yesu, Dunji, Eri, Akiriza. Chintu chechinzo 
ku tisa ngandi moyo ayenza byona bera nedembe linji buli jongandi moyo ayenza byona gwenyera nywera nywera o wangule nga mulinya ye nywera 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 moyo ayenza byona Yes, tonzi kiriza o kwera viranga e byo sala go kwe ya tu firira no Interesting. Just for just. Oh, Sai, 
Gunguru kozi ne mo kwesi ge virara na yengu mire ngakwe kangu mire ngakwe su biyane biansi gwe musenyu biyane biansi. Gwe musenyu Biyo nebyan sine Webicha kando weoze E tiriri Mwuru mine Muna kutaiza kunde Kanze ka kangu mine Nga kuyesu biyane biyansi Gwe musenyu biyane biyansi Gwe musenyu biyane biyansi Newe bija kando wazevyo Muguru muvuru mine Munaku Taizaku nde kanze ka kangu mire ngaku yesu biyane biansi gwe musenyu biyane biansi gwe musenyu mazi mago ge gangu mia. Nebyo nabye wansu wiza Newe mfire vyangebyo na Kanesige nga gweweka Kangu mire nga kuyesu Pyo nebyo nsigwe musenyu Pyo nebyo nsigwe Gwe musenyu Echi sera chiri kumpi Kane weyo Anongo se Anazeno musa igwe Ampena ka oneroke Kangu mire nga kuyesu biyane biyansi gwe musenyu biyane biyansi gwe musenyu nko mere ronge tu se e sange nga ne te ge se nga Nina kabo neroke akomoyo omutukuvu Kangu mire nga kuyesu yo nebyansi Gwe musenyu yo nebyansero Gwe musenyu Ay mkama wange Gwendo za Kuye watonda No mkono guo Ndabe mwenye Nyeno kuwatika Ama nyigo Galabi kawona Ne muyimbira katonda wange Nga muku, nga muku Nsinza kato na mumoyo kwange Nga mukuru, nga mukuru Bwendo za kato nde awayo Omwana uwe Oku tufirira 
Nemo queva Zavie ancorera Ya focuja Wo evi vivia fe Cristo vali Coma o cuita No cututua La ewe to the sun, cane to sins and tea. Gamukulu ye cut on the wange. Nemo yimira cut on the wange. Gamukulu. Hope you've had a lovely day. I was just being just for just, but to leave an encouraging word to tell you to hold on to your faith, to grow your faith muscle by practicing the word of God. Reading the word of God, cramming it and having it in your heart when you cannot walk the talk. It does not give the word the power. The faith talk, you have to walk the talk. You have to believe in your heart. that it is possible but if your heart does not believe even if you attend I don't know how many services of faith and you don't believe inside your heart and you don't purpose to walk the faith walk when you're walking the faith walk you don't use your human understanding. It's like you in a plane. You have to leave Christ to be the pilot. You can't even be a co-pilot. You have to leave Christ to be the pilot. But if you have a plan B, that is not faith. If you have a plan B, that's not faith. That is you. Until we learn to bring back God in our lives, to bring back God in our plans, nothing will change. Everything you're planning to do, make sure you put God first. I just read the scripture and uh, I'll go. <clears throat> when I was living, I was given a scripture by a pastor who loved me and believed in me so much. Different people gave me scriptures. I'm a child who has grown up on scriptures. <laughs> but walking the scriptures is another story altogether. So, I was given a scripture. I did not walk the scripture. <laughs> not until I had to learn and walk, start walking the scripture. I walk the scripture with a passion. I don't just cram it. I don't just actually I can't cram it. I, I don't know how to cram. I decided to walk that talk. When you're walking that talk, it's a lonely journey because many people don't understand, don't even get the point. If you're planning on walking the faith journey though, as in you believe without seeing. You're going to stay alone on the trail. 
because man has ideas they have ideas my dear. but if you choose to walk the top you're going to walk alone it's lonely but guess what the holy spirit is on the journey with you all the way through all you have to do is accept and allow the holy spirit to take charge jeremiah chapter 17 <laughs> jeremiah chapter 17 i'll be fast chapter 17 and verse 5 the bible says that thus says the lord cursed is the man who trusts in and relies on mankind making weak faulty human flesh his strength and whose mind and heart turn away from the lord when you trust man hmm? you're going to get disappointed when you get disappointed just know your cast that is the easier the easiest way for you to understand it the bible says that relies on mankind making when you rely on mankind you make your own strength you start trusting your own money you start trusting your own academics you start trusting your marriage you start trusting your business you you start putting your trust in the material things you have when covid came it hit what you trust that is why you've been crying so much that is why you've been so bitter And trust me, that is a curse. It is because you've always trusted in your things. Your academic papers shout more than your faith. You're the family, the class or the family you come from shouts more than your faith. Because you've trusted your family members so much that you know they are in a particular position. So they'll just you just give a call and they connect you to the right place where you want to go. When you start to walk a faith journey, you don't put man in, in the mix. Let's continue. When you trust man, your heart and mind turn away from God. All the time you'll be like, oh, so and so promised me some kamane. Your heart starts pounding and all the time you're checking your phone. You're calling and checking your phone all the time to see whether the person sent you the money. That means your mind and heart turned away from the Lord. Verse 6. For he will be like a shrub in the patched desert and shall not see prosperity when it comes but shall live in the rocky places of the wilderness. If you've ever been to the desert, there are those shrubs that grow and they have thorns. Now your life, your character, your environment starts to look like the desert. You become very bitter. You become very, very bitter. In uninhabited salt land, basically your environment becomes a desert. I'll, I'll leave it at that. When you read your Luganda Bibles, those who have, who speak my local language, it says verse 6, Kubanga alifana nango morola oguli mudungu so talira babirungi bwe bilija na ye alibera mu biwala kate mudungu ensi eyomunyo so eterimu bantu 
you, you it becomes so confusing because your heart you become restless because your mind is always on what so and so said what so and so planned promised to give you you know that's where your heart is verses 7 now the the bible is showing us what you will look like Blessed with spiritual security is the man who believes and trusts in and relies on the Lord. When you trust man, you have no guarantee. Man changes every time he wants. Man is selfish. When man gets what he wants, he walks away. He's done with you. Man, I mean male and female. Many of you have been so disappointed. You're so wounded. It's because you trusted man. Man changes. At mid dinate come red. Mu evening, namu changa yamba de green. E jiro, hapa naked. Webu kerera. Natoju kila gawa sanza yesterday. Sobo lano kwe gana. That is man for you. And guess what? He was created in God's image. But because man gave his power to the devil. Now the devil took over man's mind and the body because man forgot that he's the temple of the holy spirit so you do whatever you want because it a it's your body but when you read the bible what it talks about the temple it's another story altogether the Bible is like a chain. It's connected. Scriptures are connected. You cannot walk without some scriptures. You do not remove scriptures from the Bible. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Without them, you have no discipline. If you don't have the word, you don't have the discipline. You can read your Bibles. You have no discipline whatsoever. When you trust God, you have spiritual security. Everything. I want you to check your life. Analyze the things you've got through God and see how stable they are. Then analyze the things you've got through your own mind, through your friends giving you ideas. When a project comes, everyone wants to do the same project. You run around doing the same project. No sanga bantu ngaba kola the same thing. No gamba here I thought we have different minds, the other minds because you don't have the mind of Christ. You chose to listen to motivational speakers hello. Kati we batulowoleza. Ebintu byamka matebi kola we bicho if you are going to walk the faith journey. It doesn't work like that. If you want to be the best manager, mm, best planner, mm, this comes first. Then you know, could be a This, this, <laughs> this, this, you want to be the best teacher. Mm. You want to be the best mother, the best father. But it's more. 
you carry the manual name manual jukoze sanga ugenda kuraminga uteke uka scripture wali pasindike likes bak sharing na ye can we go to the practical part of the scripture can we life is very simple we have complicated it because we love the talk but we cannot use our feet in the talk this can only have power if you start to practice it daily it's a daily process blessed with spiritual security Malaba nga muna unya security insurance. Nino kubela insurance. Emotika yangi insurance. Mjuteke insurance. Katitu genda ne. Netu insurance. Ne our death. Na yetu jinsurance. Mwere no nko plani. Gira luono fana luono uli insurance. You need to learn to trust God at all times. 24-7. The way you practice it, you know, you're going to start practicing those scriptures you keep posting. We need to start seeing a life which is practical in the word of God. It is time, and this starts with the servants of God. Amen, Nanyo. You know, you come out and you come with the word, no gamba. Hey, it's gambo chalero. Chinan nanyinicho. Ah, ah. The word comes from you, through you, to the sheep. Your mouth speaks your heart, and your heart is God's deposit box. Your mouth is the ATM. Your mouth is the ATM where other people have to withdraw. But what are you giving us that is not even working for you? But you have the entire Bible. You read the Bible how many times a year? You have it crammed. The scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. But can we see the practical part of the Bible in your life? Can we see it? Hi. Can we see the practical part of the Bible? We've crammed the Bible for too long. The COVID season came for us to go back home and do homework. Every Sunday they give you a word. Every Sunday. Some of you stay at church 24-7. The, the COVID season, the lockdown, was for you to go home and sit and open where you have more and you it up. You go back and you call a revision. Because a test is coming. Are you, are you sure you're going to pass the test? Okuvareva kuzala. Overa mpaipuri. Oline vitabo. No take a connect of in a bit to go over enough if you want to go. No, we saw my album. You crammed the entire book, but it's not working at all in your life. At all, if the Holy Spirit was to open up like this, your life is full of the human mind. It has no whatsoever. It has no Holy Spirit in it. Everything you've achieved 
is through your own energy. That is why when a, a wave came, when the storm came, it hit so hard that you lost everything. You lost everything. Now you're trying to have a calm back. Huh? And still there are people who haven't yet woken up. They are still wafuba. Wafuba. Whenever you trust in man, you work so hard. You try so hard. The time we are in, the life we are living is not a competition. We are on a race. You have your own race. How are you running your race? Are you with Christ on the, on the race? Blessed with spiritual security is the man who believes and trusts in and relies on the Lord and whose hope and confident expectation is the Lord. Your expectation has to be the Lord. We've expected too much from man that we've ended up being cursed. Because the Bible says when you trust in man, you're cursed. And now you're sick. The heart is sick. You are wounded. You need healing. Inner healing now. And that one. Whether they put hands on your feet, they pour the entire bottle of oil until they touch the heart. But now that has to be you. You, you, you as a person, you have to deal with the issue because it's the matter of the heart. And it's the same heart where God wants to sit and do mighty and exploits in your life. Verse eight: For he will be, for he will be nourished like a tree planted by the waters, that spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear the heat when it comes. COVID. If your roots were deeply rooted in the ground, you will be flourishing like this, but you dried out so bad. You've dried out so bad. So, so bad. This verse 8, you wouldn't be crying those ends. Government yet to yambe, government ya kawunga, government yet to yamba kawunga. Because you've always trusted the government. Government has nothing to do with COVID. Up to today, we still have people who haven't yet understood why COVID. And what is interesting, the Lord has been speaking. The Lord spoke many years ago. He's been speaking throughout. But we are still too much crowded in our small groups, in our own things. And we are getting more cast every day. Many of us have put our trust in our pastors. When your pastor has not said anything, we don't shift it. Ah, my pastor said nothing in your revelation. When you get saved, or kirizana, or yatula nakamako, no kirizana mutimago. Kamwa no motima, sine pastor wo, sine prophet wo, sine evangelist wo, bishop wo, man, woman of God, never pay. Those ones were just put on the journey to help you. But they stop somewhere, yeah. They stop at church. Some of them have not even come to visit you. They don't even know where you stay. They don't even know whether you've eaten food. They don't know whether you even have transport to go to church. 
They don't. They have no clue. Now, for he will be nourished like a tree planted by the river, the waters that spreads out its roots by the river. When you trust in God, in COVID, you wouldn't be crying. Any season, you wouldn't be crying. Why? Because you look like a tree. That if other trees are drying up. It's like planting an apple tree in a desert. And you find apples there. That has to be good. Let us yearn to put our roots in Christ. Because when you are planted, no one can uproot you. Most of us have achieved many things. And people look at you and they're like, yeah. Do you know that the devil alters God's plans? Until you become sensitive in the spirit, that's the only time you will see it. This season has shown us because many things were hit hard. Marriages are being hit every day. Businesses are down. They collapsed. Governments are crawling. Any institution is crying because they are not rooted in Christ. The season we are in, if you are not rooted in Christ, Uprooting you is going to be very easy. But its leaves will be green and moist and it will not be anxious and concerned in a year of drought. In a year of drought, go and you're not even concerned. I told you, Facebook, government, government, COVID. And when that tree is flourishing, it does not stop bearing fruit. We trusted man and we stopped bearing fruit. Your tree has no fruit at all. Which fruit am I talking about? Patience. Eh? You know the fruits of the Holy Spirit, right? I read one more scripture and I close. When when you read in Psalms. You can go and do a, a deeper Bible study of when you read Psalms 146. I'll start from verse 1. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. Do not trust in princes, in mortal man, in whom there is no salvation, in brackets, help. When his spirit leaves him, he returns to the earth. Takamutaka. Practice your faith muscle. Stop just reading scriptures and posting them. Walk the talk. Before you bring out the heart that the, the word that the Lord has put on your heart. Before you, you, you allow us to withdraw from you. Make sure you, the ATM machine, 
you have gotten your portion. My body is a vault. I have a deposit box inside the heart. When God comes, he opens the vault, puts the secrets, the money, the word in the word, the deposit box. Then I wake up and I withdraw and make sure when I open my mouth, you bring your come at the new day. But it has to work for me first. The man you've trusted, when his spirit lives, when the real Esther, the one you don't see, lives, this is the vault, it becomes very useless. Have a blessed night. Let us practice the word. Let us not only post the word so that people say you have eloquent words. Are they eloquent? I'll leave that word. Some of you use complicated English. And I'm like, hey. But when it's not working, it is time to go back and we we'll repair. The foundation. Isaiah 58. Let me leave that with you. We'll handle that some other time. Isaiah, open your Bibles. 58. We're going back to repair. The foundation, it's broken. The things we are doing, we, are do, we, are, we say we are doing God's work, but we are doing it in man's way. It is no longer God's work. It became man's way. That is why lately people are investing in becoming more of motivational speakers than... I'll leave that space and you feed it for yourself. You just motivate us, but we are not even inspired at all because the two are different. We stay the same. Every year you bring people to talk to us and we stay the same. Isaiah 58 and verse 12. Let me start from verse 9. Then you will call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, here I am. If you take away from your midst the yoke of oppression, the finger pointed in scorn toward the oppressed or the godly, and every form of wicked, sinful, unjust speech, and if you offer yourself to assist the hungry and satisfy the needy, and satisfy the need of the afflicted, then your light will rise in darkness and your groom will become like midday and the lord will continually guide you and satisfy your soul in scorched and dry places and give strength to your bones and you will be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail and your people will rebuild the ancient ruins you will raise up and restore the age old foundations of buildings that have been laid west, you will be called repairer of the breach, restorer of streets with dwellings. If you turn back your foot from unnecessary travel on the Sabbath, from doing your own pleasure on my holy day, I will stop there. I wanted to stop on verse 12.
it is time to repair because the foundations are broken. The rate at which we are covering sin, it is on a higher level. When they talk about the things that we are doing that are wrong, we get offended. And we break the connections. And you expect the Lord to walk with you fully. When you pray, people are going to get healed. Why? Because that is God's work. He loves his people. They will be healed. But are they going to heaven? Or you're just keeping them there. Enticing them. You just keep them around. Time to do things right. You've, you, you, gamba ojude. Backpack it the Bible, you remove it. Kuanga brunak pasta wo. Went bafka wa pasta wa fe. Pasta wo, pasta wanga ya gambi ne tumu fostinga ganyavo. Ne tumu sharinga. But the word ain't working. Everything you're doing, we are kula fuba na. Oh fuba wo fubi wuli chimu. Some of you have a lot of money, but in actual sense, when someone looks at you like this, you look like a desert. Kuwango judobu kawu, o judobu kambwe. Akasente kote vaka gaba. Omani wetu kowa, ha! Kanko mao. It's because you trusted your power, your energy. That's why you yombe na nya akasente ko. Kotu ya nidi. Ha. Tetuli mwinta. Ha. Wapak benduru no duke misindi. May the Lord bless you. Have a lovely night. Think about the word. Go and do a Bible study. Yourself. Please give us what God has deposited in your heart. When it has worked for you, we want practicals. COVID season was for practicals. Do you remember the word that was preached in 2000? Do you remember the word that was teached, was taught last week? What did the pastors? Let's trust in the Lord. Let's walk the talk. And the Lord will do amazing things. Let us pray and we go. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your word. You've been so faithful. You've been so good. Lord, as we go into Thanksgiving, because in some parts of the world, for them they have one day specific for Thanksgiving. That's their culture. That's how they do things. And we love them for that. But Father, teach us how to give thanks. Help us give thanks in the middle of the storm. Help us, teach us how to walk the faith walk. Holy Spirit, bring an understanding of your word. The right revelation on how to walk with you, on how to trust you fully. I thank you for each and everyone who was able to come. I thank you for Mama Teo Pista. I thank you for Esther. I thank you for Lydia. I thank you for Rosette and those who sit in the pavilion at the back. And those who will watch later, bless the works of their hands. Lord, come and heal our broken hearts. Deliver us and give us an understanding of your word, your way. Your way, not our way, because your ways are not our ways. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. And I seal this word in the blood. Because your blood speaks 
better words than the blood of Abel. I seal this word with the blood that wherever it will go, it will touch a heart, it will heal a heart, and we'll be able to go back and repair the foundations. I give you praise. I give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I believe and pray. Amen. Have a good night. Till next time when we do some testing. Bye-bye.